Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we're back with XCOM Enemy Within. And uh, if you watched the last couple of videos, you know we are assaulting the enemy base. Uh, and this is part three of that series. No reason to go in in uh, further to battle. I don't see any reason with uh, with uh, a little bit of your ammo discharged. You know, when you don't have a time limit, uh, take your time. You know, um, I make enough mistakes as it is in this game, and, um, you know, just imposing, imposing the challenge of, of, um, aye, aye, Commander. of having, uh, less ammo than, than your full capacity at the start of every battle that you possibly can. Moving to target Just location. imposing that on you uh, when you can when you can avoid it is uh, unnecessary. So I advise against it. I advise Don't against die. it. So I think I'm going to probably leave Ozbank here for a turn or a couple of turns while I move while I move down. And I think I'll probably move like up up the side here. Um, I feel I'm missing to your stand in the back. Got it covered. Well, now they're on the other side, so. I really do like having, uh, should go without saying, but I really do like having some good shooters on my, out. on my crew. It really... Positive enemy contact. Whoa! Oh, man. Okay, I think that those guys, in their heavy armor, are a very good candidate for a rocket. I dare say. Rockets also away. blow away their uh, cover. No reason to have them in cover there. In my opinion. And let's see if we can have Ozbank take out... So that's that guy is in cover, so actually since I do have a 100% chance on him... And, oh shoot, we can only do up to 7 damage. But, 75% critical, we might be able to wipe that guy out. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. Nice. Nice. Okay, so my other guys should have a pretty good, pretty dang good chance to, um, to take these clowns out, I think. I would imagine that we're going to be dealing with something like a 100% chance to hit them. Could be wrong. Hope not. Moving. Okay, 88. Oh, unfortunately, we're only dealing with an 88. But 80% critical. He's down. So now we've got two guys left. So now this is going to be bad if both of these guys can't uh, can't get this done. No but they can. Threat. But they can. Very nice. Now I don't... I'm actually really hesitant to move Vissington down at all. Aye, but aye. I'm going to move him down to here. Just in case whatever was moving over there moves down, scanning. he might be able to get an Overwatch shot on it. Oh, and I forgot I hadn't even used Rampage yet. So we definitely had that in the bag, no problem. I think that was a good use of a rocket, in my opinion. I think, think it was. Man. That, um... That really, really...
really got the job done there. So I might, I might kind of ease my way over want to be really careful because I'm, I'm down here on the bottom and I don't really like it. Now when I blew these up it didn't seem to do extra damage to them so I think these are pretty safe to hide behind. That's not Vissington. Okay good we can move him in. On the move. Headed there now. I'm going to go ahead and move Vissington kind of up. Actually, I don't want to move him that way. <laughs> don't want him to run down and around that way because he might set something off. So well, I'm going to move him up position. and back this way. And he'll rejoin them next turn. I'm on it, Commander. Come on, my Got to be careful. What was that sound? Ladies and gentlemen, gotta be careful. We are affirmative depleting our resources here. Slowly but surely. And um I did not reload after that last battle. Might be a good good time to do so. We're green to go. Let's rock. Aye, aye. Go ahead and move to this side since the it's action appears time. to be over here. Got it covered. On overwatch. And go ahead and get everyone else who needs to be Solid overwatching copy. doing so. Round to that. Scanning. <laughs> and then I think we are ready to move up. Now Let's see, I think that this place keeps going on for quite some time, so I'm really... I don't think I want to use my next, or my last, uh, battle scanner in this room. Because I would hope that I've taken out the bulk of what's in here, so hopefully... Moving. Hopefully we're dealing with enemy target in range. Whoa, okay, seekers. And we've also got something else too. Oh jeez. That is not a good combo. Um I don't even see. Oh, man, I'm I'm really tempted to use my rocket on these guys because they're bunched up like that. And then what I would probably do is pull rampage back and then just put everyone on Overwatch. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's the most conservative uh, approach that I can do here. Going hot. Yep, okay, I nailed all of them. So now, hopefully, let's get Rampage good bit back here. Headed there now. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Oh shoot, he actually saw one of them. I should not have uh, done the Overwatch yet. Okay, Ozbang, clean that guy up. Oh shoot. This is gonna be bad. And 
Unless someone can clean these guys up. I forgot that overwatch shots could not cause critical hits. Okay, that was clutch. That was clutch right there. We really need these guys to not be alive. Okay, they all double moved. Okay. So, uh, first off, Ozbang, can you kill someone for me? Okay, what does the Duke have on the guy in the back? 56. If I ran up there, I wonder what he would have. Because I would imagine uh, we're probably going to take um, a Seeker. We'll probably try to latch on, I would say, next turn. Now, I can do a run and gun with both launch pad and um, I can do a run and gun with launch pad and Leroy and just probably just take care of this and then have everyone else try to protect each other and that might be the best course of action Oh, I would have. Well, I know I, I can't capture him. He's, he's too far away. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to run and gun and just take care of these guys. And let's just hope that they don't set anyone else off. 100%, 30% critical. Uh, let's go. 91% 30% critical. Um, let's go for that because I really do need to kind of hit this guy twice. Nice. Man, I really love that ability. It really helps. Um, now this isn't the end of the world if he can't if he can't pull this off. But um, it's certainly going to help if he can if he can execute this. Now, honestly, a hundred percent on the flush, and I think it'll do two damage. So I'm going to go ahead and do Come a flush. Okay, and I believe what I'm going to do here is get Ozbang to um, well shoot. I don't know if I should bring Ozbang down or not. I'm worried about those Seekers coming around behind and getting him by himself. So I am going to bring him down. And then rely on all three of these guys covering to... Uh, to kind of take care of the... Uh, inevitable... The inevitable Seeker attack that is to come. Yep, here he comes. Light him up. Okay, they took care of him. Where's the other one? Hopefully they're not going to attack in the same turn. Okay, excellent. So, let's get... Um, let's get back down here. Heading there now. And uh, I see no reason to do anything but just kind of uh, I'm watching turtle here and uh, let that other one come do his thing. Come commit suicide. Hopefully he will. I hate it when they just wait. Here we go. There we go. Excellent. Now, I, I believe there were only those two, so we should be in pretty good shape here. Back so let's in. go ahead and do a universal reload across the board here. Locked and loaded. We're green to go. Good to go. Rock and roll. Back online. And then we should be good to uh, kind of keep moving along here. I would think 
that we are I mean I could be wrong but we're probably done with this place now unfortunately we used a lot of resources here we've used both of our rockets in this room and one of our grenades so we've got one grenade launcher grenade left and we've got one throwable grenade on launch pad I believe so we are um, hurting for uh, those resources moving out but um, I'm hoping that this was you know like the big <laughs> the big room and uh, and that we are that we are um, coming to the I don't really want to move up further. That's affirmative. Um, that we're coming to the point where we're not really going to need more explosives. Um, I just really needed to punch through those guys' armor. Roger you know, I, I couldn't. I couldn't afford to get into. I, I really didn't want to move, especially Missington. See, sometimes I get carried away talking, and I, I really just make these dumb mistakes. Um, I, I didn't feel like I could afford to get stuck in a, in a firefight with those guys where we were actually exchanging <laughs> exchanging plasma blasts for, you know, a round or two. You know, I was like, maybe I can take one or two shots from these guys, max. But that's it, you know. Um, I mean, for the most part, if I can avoid taking any fire, uh, then I will. Then I will. But um, in that particular situation, I didn't see a good way. Did not see a good way out of it. Um, I'm on it, Commander. I'm just going to kind of creep up one little piece of cover here at a time. And uh, hopefully, I'm on it, Commander. Hopefully, get to the uh, end of this room. Vissington, you stay there. Oh, jeez, Launchpad. Launchpad, it seems like, just does not have very much of a movement range. Ozbang, you're gonna kinda cover the more of this thing here. With your squad sight. We're starting to get to the point in the game where we're going to be dealing with guys who can That's control your mind. And, um, oh man, when we start dealing with that, then, frankly, <laughs> frankly, that's when stuff starts to really get crazy. Do you hear something? For me, at least. Um, if you've been watching this Headed series and you now. think I've had problems so far, man, it seems like so the 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 sound was coming from right here. So I mean, it's like it almost like it has to be up here because there's not any there's not any you know other. Um, you know, part of the freaking place. I'm on it, Commander. 
This is really... I mean, I am... It's like, as this mission goes on, I'm getting more and more nervous, you know, because I just keep expecting... I keep expecting, you know, someone to go down and something horrible to happen, and, uh... You know, the thing is, if someone does go down... I, you know, I know it, it, it almost goes without saying, but it's like it just makes the rest of the mission that much harder. Because you've got one less person shooting at everything. You've got one less, you know, person overwatching. You've got well, one less person carrying a med kit if they had the med kits. Or, Headed there now. You know, whatever the case may be. Aye, aye, Commander. Every single person in the group is so critical. Heading out. Headed there now. Oh, I got my eyes on. I, it, it seems to me like there's someone right up there, and it. Well, okay, no, no. Hey, you that sounds anything? moved, so. I guess I'm gonna move up here, and if, if necessary, I'll just move right back down. Okay, there's no one up here. At least, uh, allegedly. Unless, uh, unless there's seekers that have already gone... already gone stealth. But uh, I'll go ahead and move my guys up here, and, um... set up a massive overwatch grenade. Commander. Orders confirmed, moving out. And this game can be punishing at times, but like if you manage to if you manage to pull off a mission, you know, where everyone gets home, especially, you know, if you if you actually, like, capture an alien or something like that, you know, and you, and you, and you pull off, like, one of the bonus objectives or, or you, got it. you know, you do something extra, extra slick, it can be extremely rewarding. I'm on it, Commander. There, there are times when this game will just frustrate the heck out of you. Moving. And times when you'll accidentally click something that just makes you want to kick yourself in the face. Um, Affirmative. But I'm rolling. As I said, there are other times. Go. When it can be most rewarding. Quiet. Did you hear something? I don't think. Um, I don't think anything's gonna be able to. So let's see. I can probably set maybe my sniper. Double time. Here. All set. Move Rampage. It. Here. Now this is where we need to make sure that we do not misclick. Move it out. And accidentally open the door. Yes, sir. That would certainly cause some deaths. Get launch pad in position. Ten four. And Leroy, go ahead and get on up there. Okay. Okay. So. Carol, go ahead and pop that door open. Okay, that was anticlimactic. Go ahead and run on up there 
And if if necessary, you can run back, but it looks to me like this is just kind of open. Now, is this the... Is this the end? No, it, does, it looks like we are very close to the end. So we're coming up on an area. So wait, what do we got here? Let's investigate the fog of war here. We've got this area that's going to kind of go up some ramps. And then we're going to go back into the last little room here. Well, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Understood. Moving out. Of course. I haven't liked any of this. And I'm kind of regretting that I've used all my rockets up and a good bit of my grenadage. But, hey, we will do what we can with what we have left here. Step it off. Hopefully, yes, hopefully that's going to be good. Hopefully that's going to be good stuff. We just need to... Move, move, move. And I know this is not what you want to hear. We need to take our time. And part of, part of the reason that I move up really slowly is you know, because I, you know, I'm worried that I'm going to get slaughtered. Um, the other part is... Frankly, um, now. that aye, aye. Uh, I'm I'm kind of slow in the head, and okay. I if I don't take my time and think things through, I make mistakes. I mean, I'm going to make mistakes anyway. That's yes, just commander. the simple reality of it. I'm going to get everyone stacked up here so I can move them through as quickly as possible, or I can pull back if I need to. But I don't want to have it so such that I need to wait for people to get through this door. Definitely don't want to have to wait for anyone. This is a really small, small door here. So... Okay. Man, I wonder if I should throw a uh, throw a battle scanner down there or if I should just kind of go in and see what happens. I'm on the move. Whoa. Okay. Now I I'm also additionally kind of curious if I should just move in just a little bit you know to kind of avoid setting anything off you know just like move my guys right here so then I can like move all the way up to you know behind this cover and attack next turn I know it's a little risky I'm on the move Enemies inside. oh crap okay it's really risky He only sees one of them, but he's got a 100% chance, so... Enemy destroyed. And he got a promotion. Um... I don't want to set anything else off, and I know, like, once again, I, I, I realize... I'm on the move. How... Um, you know, risky moving your guys in relative close proximity like this is, but I just think I really do think that having them be able to, uh, you know, having this many guys be able to uh, pull off an overwatch will just be able to get the job done on pretty much anything that shows up. Nailed him. Oh, sweet. Leroy got a promotion. Okay, so 
now we can move all the way up here. Now is that that's launch pad. Okay. Okay. Wow, so aye, aye, Commander. Moving out. That this is honestly not what I expected. <laughs> at all in this room. I kind of expected a lot of heat to be perfectly frank. Okay, so what do we got? We got... possible stuff on the left and possible stuff on the right. Um... So as we come up on the climax of this mission, I'm looking at the time, and I think that that is probably a good place to cut it for this one. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll pick up right here next time.